Hi guys, it's Mark Rakoski here. Um, oh, it's a gorgeous day outside. I just came in from my garden. The birds are singing and I tried to record this outside, but it was just too windy. You couldn't hear anything. So I came back in, but I'll go out. I'll go back out. It's really gorgeous. I hope it's nice where you are too. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about stress. I mean, everybody's stressed all the time, especially now with um, all these rules and regulations coming down from the different governments. You can't do this and you can't do that. And it's stressing people out. Um, but stress can also come from unresolved emotions. Did you know that? I mean, a lot of us think we've led perfect lives. We've, we've been happy. We are happy. But we don't realize that there's something, maybe it's from long ago. Maybe it's only last week that's affecting us. And, and what stress does to your body is, trust me, it's not good. Um, it causes our bodies to release excessive amounts of hormones, aka chemicals. And those chemicals, although they're natural to our bodies, we, we need them because they help us to, well, let's say the, the general thing, fight, flight, or freeze. There are stress hormone that tells us it's unsafe, get the heck out of here get out of dodge you gotta get away and so that's what those stress hormones are for it's like get away from whatever's causing the problem now the problem with that of course is if we constantly feel stress and again you may not realize it you may think everything is just perfect. You're happy, you're happy-go-lucky, you're enjoying your life. But the body doesn't forget. That's the thing. The body never forgets. So if you've got something unresolved that you don't even remember, guess what? your body remembers, and it keeps producing those hormones over and over and over again, until something happens in your body. Or until you resolve whatever it was that caused the stress in the first place. And it could be a number of things. Um, but the additional amount of, of hormones attacks your organs, it can give you heart attacks, it can give you strokes, it can give you autoimmune diseases, it can cause chronic pain like in fibromyalgia. Trust me, I know all about fibromyalgia. <laughs> um, and you know, I recently within the last six months or so, found out about the relationship between trauma and chronic pain. Trauma and disease. So if I didn't know that in all of my years of suffering, and I did suffer with fibromyalgia, I'm sure there's a lot of other people that don't realize it either. So it's part of my mission to make things more well known and to try and help people because I know what it's like. I've been through it. I've been through, oh, what, 30, 30, 40 years of fibromyalgia? A lot of those years were pretty lousy, I'll tell you. Couldn't do much of anything. But since I started dealing with the emotional setbacks, the trauma, um, that I've experienced through my life, I, um, I feel a whole lot better. I mean, sure, I went gluten-free. That's one of the first things you should do. Um, I don't eliminate dairy products because I don't seem to have a problem with it, but some people do. Um, 
I started taking supplements and eating healthier and all of those things did help. They did. And, you know, some of the supplements I take are really awesome and they made a huge difference. But let me tell you, this, this is the icing on the cake. This is what's really helping. And if you think about it, you know, if the, the stress and the emotional issues caused your pain in the first place, does it not stand to reason to you that if you deal with those emotions and that stress, maybe you can make a difference in the amount of pain you feel? You know, I'm not saying you're going to cure yourself. You might, but, and I know there have been cases of it, but I'm not going to say that you're going to cure yourself. I, I am saying you may re realize a huge difference in the amount of pain that you experience, the amount of foggy brain, the um, indecision, the moodiness, all that comes from chronic pain. And so, you know, first of all, you need to kind of admit to yourself that maybe your perfect life isn't quite as perfect as you thought it was maybe there's something there that's causing you to have this constant pain um maybe it's it's something that you need to seek help for i do have a facebook group that i will encourage you to join it's called chronic pain trauma and releasing toxic emotions. Look for it. I'll, I'll leave a, a link under the video and you can go and check on that if you want. You can also check my, um, my website. All you have to remember is withmarg.com and go on there, look around. I haven't fully finished it yet, but it's pretty complete. Um, there's a couple things I still wanna add but I think you'll, you'll be happy with what you see. Uh, actually, you know, let me know how you liked it. <laughs> uh, I'm always open to suggestions. And the last thing that I can say is, as a, a, a certified Aroma Freedom practitioner, I'm trained. I'm trained by a clinical psychologist who created this program, not not somebody from the internet, you know, where you can, oh, save 50% on today's certification. No, it's nothing like that. Uh, this is a True Blue certification in Aroma Freedom Technique. And as such, as, as a practitioner, I'm trained to deal or to help you rather deal with emotional ties to events and i i recently resolved one of mine um at the risk of too much information i i try to be open with my my clients and my friends i can remember as a as a child i'm not sure i i might have been about 10 or 12 and uh, my aunt and my grandmother lived with us for many years. My aunt was schizophrenic. She was violent. She had multiple personalities. It was not um, a good situation for children to grow up in, but so be it. That's what it was. Anyway, one day, um, my aunt got into it with my dad. And I just got so upset. So I... I just didn't know what to do, didn't know what to do. And I ran out of the house into the backyard. I took my little dog Skippy with me, such a sweet little dog. And he and I just huddled together and comforted each other. My grandmother came running out of the house, police, police, he's killing her, he's killing her. Well, I guess he had her by the throat because she was beating on my mom. And, uh, you know, that was one of the things that she used to do. Anyway, um, 
Long story short, I dealt with that with AFT. I'm good with it. I can remember the events. And it's like, yeah, that happened. But it has no emotional pull on me anymore. I'm free of that. And I guess that's why Dr. Perkis named it aroma freedom technique, because we become free. We get our freedom back from emotional ties to the past, present, future. A lot of people um, are looking for relief of stress regarding what's coming up in the future. So anyway, um, since I've been using aroma freedom technique on myself, I've noticed a huge difference in how I not just feel emotionally, but feel physically. I'm able to do so many more things. I mean, I'm, if you follow me on social media, you'll see all the walks I've been going on that I haven't been able to do for, you know, 20 years. Um, and so, and I'm doing gardening and, and things that I haven't been able to do in 20 years. It was so disheartening to me not to be able to do those things because those were some of my favorite things. And now I'm getting them back again. I still, I'm not finished dealing with things. So there were a lot of things when I was growing up, but, um, and a lot of things in adulthood too. But I'm getting there. And the reason I became a practitioner is because I tried it through a friend who is a practitioner. And it's like, oh my God, I have to do this. I have to, I have to learn how to do this. I have to learn how to help people with this because this is freaking amazing. It's like some people have said to me, it's like magic. And yeah, if I didn't know the science behind it, I would say it was magic. But anyway, um, if you'd like to join my group, if you'd like to check out my website, if you'd like to chat with me about Aroma Freedom Technique, I'd be happy to talk to you. I'd be happy to see you in the group. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Talk to you later.